Hi there, I am Anne from designopage.com. In today's video, we will see how to set up and install Google Analytics into Google Blogger site. This is a two process video. First, we need to set up a Google Analytics account to get the Google Analytics tracking ID and code. Second step is to install the Google Analytics tracking ID in your Google Blogger site. Now, let's begin with the first step. Sign in to your Google account if you already have or create one. Next, search for Google Analytics and click this URL link or you can find the link in the description section below this video. Next, click and sign up here on Google Analytics site. Next, on this page, you need to create a new account. You can choose either to track your website or your mobile app here. Since we are tracking Google Blogger site, website tab is selected here. Next, give the account a suitable name that's relevant to the property that is being tracked. Property here means the website or a shopping site. Next, type in an appropriate property name. Here, property is our Google Blogger website name. Next, here you can select either HTTP or HTTPS and enter the URL of the Google Blogger site. Next, select the industry category your website is associated or promotes. Next, choose an appropriate time zone you are located in. Next, Go through the data sharing settings and check and uncheck which you prefer and which you don't. Next, click Get Tracking ID button to get your Google Analytics tracking ID. And finally, you need to read both the Google Analytics and the Google data sharing terms and accept it. This is your Google Analytics tracking ID. Now, the tracking ID is to be added in Google Blogger site. Next step is installing this tracking ID in Google's Blogger site. Log into your Blogger account. Next, select the site if you have more than one site. Next, click the settings tab and again click the other text link. And then on the right side of the page, add Google Tracking ID in the Google Analytics box and click Save Settings on the top right of the page. We can analyze the data on our Google Analytics site once there is enough web data to analyze. With this, we come to the end of this video tutorial. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and comment on the video. Do not forget to click the bell icon to get notified on video updates. Thank you.